Hey guys, Leo here. Today I want to talk to you about cell phone addiction and two ways to kill it. Now here's the thing. Cell phones have replaced our cameras, our calendars, our alarm clocks. Cell phones have replaced pretty much everything. Don't let it replace your friends and family. So why would you want to break the cycle of cell phone addiction? Well, it affects your life in three major ways. The first is connections with friends and family gets disrupted and you can't be present with people. You can't really bond and connect with people. You pull away and you're in your own little world and that can have a huge effect on how your relationships go with people and friends and family and community and the world. By getting a control on your cell phone addiction, you can actually start to strengthen the connection with real people and this will make your life better and make the world a better place. The second reason you want to quit is it affects your productivity. Every time you switch tasks and you multitask and you take a break from your work, you actually lose 150% of your focus. And we all know that laser focus is what creates the most productivity. So what would take you two hours normally may take you six hours when you're playing on your cell phone or switching back and forth between tasks. The third thing is that it can really stunt your development and your growth. If you're constantly using a device to escape from your current situation, your, your mood, your feelings, or what's going on inside you, and you're constantly looking at the external device to bring you some sort of fulfillment, you're kind of stunting your ability to find that from within or experience other things that can be a little bit healthier to help you develop and grow as a person. As human beings, our purpose is to grow, to progress, and to thrive. The moment this device prevents that from happening, you gotta let it go and you gotta get it under control. So there's two steps to killing the addiction. The first one is to turn off your notifications completely. And the reason that you need to do that is because the way the addiction with cell phones work, like many other addictions, is based on the habit loop. It starts with a trigger or a cue, which with a cell phone is a notification. You know, the little red notification on your cell phone? That is like crack cocaine. It gives you the same spike. When you see that red dot, you just wanna click it. That is the trigger, that is the cue. Then you get the routine. What the routine is, you know, you responding to messages, checking your Instagram, your Facebook, your Snapchat, basically using your phone becomes the routine. You then get a reward and the reward is the dopamine of having somebody respond to you, seeing something exciting on social media. So that kind of satisfies your brain, releases dopamine and makes you feel better. So this is the habit loop. Now, the best way to kill an addiction is to destroy the habit loop by cutting out the cue or the trigger. And the way you do that is by turning off your notifications. So you just jump into your cell phone settings and turn off all notifications for things like Snapchat. Uh, you can turn off email. You can turn off text messaging, Facebook. You just don't want that notification popping up and disrupting your day. The second thing you wanna do is to have your phone put into a designated area and just leave it there. And a lot of times we'll take our phone everywhere that we go, whether we're going for dinner or we're like even playing Xbox, sitting on a couch or in bed where our phone is going with us everywhere. The habit we wanna create is to leave our phone in one designated spot and it just stays there. It doesn't go and it doesn't follow us around. And when we do that, that kind of allows us to disrupt how likely we are to grab our phone and start going through it. So those two things are the key. So don't be a prisoner of your cell phone. Get it? Cell phone? I can't really blink that good. Remember, you know, like any addiction, it when it affects your life, you've got to make a change. You've got to do your best to overcome it. And those two steps will help kill that addiction. So thank you for watching. And if you want more helpful videos, check out the links below. Have a great day. Turning it off in a sec. I'm turning it off. Oh, I, what if I miss an important message? It's off. Have a great day. Oh, I'm back on it.
Mm. So many Snapchats. <laughs>